Hello everybody, welcome back to EO4, Paradise Game I'm playing. One Faith as Catholic Ottomans. We got Ming on their knees. And I have prepared a peace deal. Uh, let me show you here. So uh, I want 10% war operations and all their money. And then I want this province right here, Mulmain. Because that means I can wage war against Tengu and Yutaya. And then I can uh, get a land connection here and all the way to Lang Sang. And in the north, I want to have a connection with the various lands around here. As you can see, I will have connection to this area. I'll have connection to this area up here and also to the Korean Peninsula. So I can continue conquering over here while we have a truce with Ming. And that peace deal requires 92% which is only negative 12 from what I have right now and uh, we still need to wait one year for the course to finish so I think that will that will be uh, probably nicely uh, connected meanwhile Ming has an army here and I am going to attack Yarkand when the truce expires in April so I'm getting this army ready to uh, beat up the Ming army and uh, move on Yakant. And we still got the war with air going. We need the siege to fall. And then we can split up and uh, start sieging out. So that was a quick overview of what's going on right now. We also won this battle here. Move these guys back and then move let me see, where's the next fort? There are none. Wu Chang down here. This is the next one. So let's just split up and go there. Alright, let's fire it up. Siege of Borneo is over. Of Borneo. We can recall the diplomat from Riasan. And I also remember that I haven't got a royal marriage with. Not a lot. We should probably get that. There we go. I can also start soaking in Malabar now. That will open up the possibility of getting another vassal somewhere else. For example, in China's to feed. So I, as soon as I get a piece, I can start soaking in Malabar. So Bono, that's the capital and their only fort, if I remember correctly. So these guys are headed away. Can I catch them? I can if I attach a general. Uh, do I have any general that I can unattach anywhere? Not at this particular moment, but I can borrow this one. Put it on. And then force march in. And that should give us the battle. Bengal wants to get through. These guys wants to get through. Not happening. We got the moral moral railroad. Well, yeah, royal marriage. This should be a stack wipe. And then I can relocate the general, or that would require him to siege up something. Yeah, let's just start sieging up stuff. Get the boot off. And then just... Um, yeah, just merge up all the infantry, actually. And then split up. Go there. Uh, split up, go there. Split up, go there. And split up go down here pass through this one something like that I want we get back to Bono we can take the general off again and put him back in India so we're gonna need a general in this army to fight the Chinese that are moving back up north I uh, will follow him up 
Let's see, they got a level 4 fort in there. Uh, no fort there. Level 1, level 4. Let's go up in this direction. Let me just check China, what's going on. We got sieges going on here and there. These guys are almost back up. Um, I do not want to merge the cavalry. Well, I could. They would still be alive, so go there and then move in here. Back to Africa. And move these guys down here. And I guess we can split these guys up even further. Just to speed it up a little bit. Occupied something over here. These guys are going to Kaifeng. We'll arrive. They are locked in. Let's beat them up. Nanyang. That's right next to. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Let's go to Wu Chang Clan. Manga has been occupied. Split up these guys. Go do, 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 do there. Oh, and go up there. Maybe a stack wipe here for the for the Ming. To the battle. Song Q. Okay, let's go to Lang Chong. It was not a stack wipe. Right, back to Africa. Come down this way. Mandara, go in here. Biran, come down this way, and then in China, that one. Okay, go there. Ah, they got a 42 stack moving around here. That could be dangerous. Do they have a fort next to this one? No. I think they've been deleting forts. Yeah, they just can't afford them. Uh, let me check this one. Its name is Kai Feng. Let's go to Kai Feng. Kai Feng will. Uh, that's a whole month. Okay, just come down here then. Never mind. I want to be able to defend these guys if need be. Back in India, we are moving north. Claims fabricated from Commonwealth. Yeah, they're just dicks. And let's go this way. Let's see if they attack me in China. Yes, they do. Okay. Force March, get in there. These guys are, are moving somewhere else. Okay, so they got the 40 stack arriving in. 29th. I will be there a few days later. That should be fine. I don't think I need additional troops. Although I could move these guys over this way and see if I need them later on. Logona has been occupied. And I will just go in here. Right, let's check that battle out. I will be there in uh, two days. He's going to Anking, so he's not reinforcing that battle.
Nope, he's not reinforcing the battle at all. I don't need to move the other stack in then. Back to Africa. He's got a few troops. Let's deal with them. Run the battle in uh, China. Come up here. And the battered army will move back and replenish here. See how far we are from the uh, peace deal? We can actually do that now. The piece that I wanted. Well, let's continue. We need those calls finishing up first. It's about, yeah, around the end of the year. But it doesn't matter, we'll just beat up Ming even further. They will be further going into debt. Walk Sashtim will come up, all those kinds of things. Let's check in India. They're still moving away from me. And the peace deal, the truce expires in April, a couple of months from now. This guy will be ready when that happens. Rana has been occupied. We just move into Sassau. Then I think we got most of it covered. These guys will go in there, so these guys can go in and beat up that army. Kotoko. Yeah. Let's check out China. No problems anywhere, okay. Are they fighting somebody else? No, nobody's daring to attack them still. But soon enough, they will inter disintegrate. We occupied Lang Song. And now we cannot get any further. So just move in there. We just, just stay in there, actually. These guys need to get the boot off. Chain Lu, that's over here. Go to Makran. Oh, we have to go around for that. No way. Just stay there then. And that's almost a carpet siege. They still got air. Oh, that's a fault level one. That's why. Okay. Um, I'll just send these guys up to air, and that should be it. Back to China, or maybe India, Central Asia. Looks like these guys are just heading home. I will just ignore them and wait for the eventual peace deal. Xiang Yang has been occupied. And now everything is blocked except for up in the north. Uh, that's fine. We don't need to take more land at this point. We got the taking walls go working in our favor. Sasao has been occupied. Katsina. Alright. These guys are moving down to Kuchant. We got a fort in there. So it looks like they're going to try and occupy that. That's grasslands. Alright. I don't think he will be able to siege that up in time before the, the end of the war. Everybody head to air. Choose expired with Yakant. That's when we move in. We go straight to Kiva and send one guy up to that one. And the faster we can get Kiva, the better.
Suko Tai has fallen. Split up and take some more land. Did I get the general back? Yes, I did. Yes, he is sieging Kujan and he will not succeed. Because in six months the war will be over. Check these guys, 39, 41, okay. Pretty loyal. Da 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 None has fallen. Come up here. Still no sign of the Akan army. We got Mulmain occupied and air. So that leaves just the capital here, which is 21%. Oh, and now I'm fighting these guys. Hmm. Apparently they joined in later. Mulmain has fallen. Let's come up here to King Tong. All score is now 80 with Ming. And we're going to wait about five months or so for the peace deal. Siege up Sipsong Bana is over. Oh, that's that one, okay. Uh, right. No more forts, so let's just split up and start sieging out stuff. I see fewer and fewer forts, but they still got a lot actually, they got like 10 or 15. And that's a huge drain on their, their money situation. Now we got that one, but still need Kiva, which is ne still negative 35. Looks like Ming actually is gonna succeed over here. could send an army in just to disrupt them. I think I'll do just that. Just to make sure. Bring this guy up there. That'll delay the Kiva siege, but that's fine. Alright. No, we're not sieging up this stuff. They just had one unit there. Okay. Come over here. Oh, and they're back with a 43 stack, moving west. No, they're moving south. Okay, let's watch that. How much, how much do they have? They still have about almost a hundred thousand, actually. This is just one stack going to Kaifeng. And these guys are moving out of Kaifeng. Now, where's Kaifeng? That's Kaifeng, okay. Shang Rai has fallen. Continue. From Kaifeng, they go to Shaki. Chengdu has fallen. And that's the only fort in that area. means we can pretty much move in on all the stuff. Now that army is moving north, coming into my sieged area. We're in August now. Peace deal impending. Yeah, they're going to Luyang. And we can move up to Xi'an with this army. King Tong has fallen. Alright, just go to Zenwi. How are we doing in Central Asia? Uh, we're about to attack the Ming over here. We got PU. Right, go to Guangnang. These guys are stationary in the farmlands. These guys will come around. And I think we'll just beat a little bit more up on him. 
the Han has fallen. Go to Dali. So August 25 and August 28. Let's just wait three days. Or two. Kawa has fallen. That's 100% on air. But we're not going to peace out yet. That's going to be a little while before we do that. This battle is being won. Although they do have a pretty good general there, so it was a tough one. Um, right, go back to Kiva. And we have a battle over here as well. Luang Namta has fallen. This one is 21%. Let's get ready for ready for the wall with Tangu. So let's move these guys over to Ava. There we go. Get out of here. Eighty-seven percent war score. We're now in September. In a few months, we will peace out. All right. So I'll put a break in here, guys. In the next episode, we will peace out with Ming and start up a war with Ayutaya, Tangu, and then we just go on from there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.